His way is a safe place to find yourself. We have an expectation of our staff and uh, the volunteers that are involved to have Christ-centered lives, which makes a huge impact on on a man's recovery when that's what he's interacting with on a daily basis. The His Way mission is reclaim, rebuild, restore. We want to reclaim men from a life of addiction, rebuild them in a spiritual foundation through the gospel message, and restore them to a community so they can be the leaders God's called us to be. Something has gone wrong in life. Uh, they're experiencing consequences that are painful enough for them to consider making a life change. They're coming because they're beginning to lose hope in life, which is, if you've ever experienced that, is a terrifying thing. We're trying to help men find their way out of what, for many of them, has been hell on earth. And the hope is heaven for us. Well, at His Way, we take a man that usually is in a situation of desperation. They've lost many things. They perhaps have lost their source of income. They've lost family relationships. They've lost possessions and many times are homeless. Many times have serious legal problems. And His Way is an opportunity for them to, um, through the gospel and through the, the powerful uh, message of Christ, to live a different way and to gain not just sobriety, but to gain a fulfilled life in Christ. I think it works because of a uh, Christian-based focus that we're focusing on more than just recovery. We're, we're impacting other areas of people's lives. The first 30 days, we're just trying to teach them about Jesus and about life. We're trying to help them with life skills, whether it's how to write a resume, how to get a job, how to, how to be a better father, husband, brother, child, you know, whatever. And we're, and we're teaching them the gospel at the same time. And that's one of the keys to his way is we're, we're addressing every aspect of your life, not just your spiritual melody. You know, that's the first place we start for it. Well, we need to get you a job. We need to look at your health. And in his way, we take such a holistic, such a comprehensive approach. We're not just about measuring time, keeping people sober. We're about teaching them a new way of living. New, that's why it's called his way, because we want to teach people Christ-centered, Christ, Christian way to live. The, the guys really take care of each other. That adds on to the giving back opportunity because if you've been there longer than a month and another guy comes at long, I've seen it in the Bible studies. I've seen guys that have only been here for three or four weeks and there's a new guy that's here a week and they're just like, I, hey, I've got you. I'm, you know, I'm here for you. But if you need anything, talk to me. But in his way, we have really, I feel like a great culture. There's a teamwork. All the guys are pulling for each other to be successful. They hold each other accountable. We have an amazing staff. This guy is just pour themselves in to these men because they want them to succeed. And everybody's here together, working together. The gospel message is free and given to us as a gift. That's what we use to show men a life of freedom. And to me, Addiction recovery, it is such a fertile ground because people are looking for something different. And most of them, they're already primed and ready because they know there's, there's, a, there's a God deficiency in their heart. And so they're looking for that. And so for churches, I would just encourage churches that this is not an easy work. Christ never said it would be easy. It's not an easy work. It's oftentimes there's, there's a lot of things to put in place, but it's an area in our society where I think people are open for the gospel and where lives can be changed and where the church can really grow. Here we have a situation where people are at a point in their lives when they are looking for change. They're looking for a job, a, for a, a God of their own understanding. And, and that's what we can do as, as our role is to, is to be that person to, to communicate who that is. And uh, so, yeah, I get to practice my Christianity over and over and over again. I think it's even more important for our guys to have relationships with people who don't necessarily come from the same lifestyle we right? and see how much we have in common with our Christian brothers and sisters or anybody, right? And, and the idea that just because we had a different upbringing doesn't mean we can't get along and we don't face the same exact struggle. It's just the power of God. It's just here is the mission field right in your backyard. And not only can you give to it, monetarily, you can give your time, you can develop 
friends for the lives. I have people in recovery that, that I will always be friends with. It's a mission, it's a ministry, uh, and it's actually, it's actually working. If Jesus is looking for the lost, that he came to seek and save the lost, and if we're to be the arms and legs of Jesus for the body of Christ, trying to be Jesus on this earth, you don't have to seek far to find lost people. This is not the only example, but it's a real, really good, and it's right there.